Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nastrim Padasali. So in this video, I am going to share with you what is the meaning for dropped question or what to do if a particular question saying dropped. What is the meaning for that? And many students are getting confused whether if a question has been instead of giving answer key, if the question has been given as a dropped means either all the students will get the bonus mark for that or grace mark for that or only those students who had attempted the question will get a bonus mark or grace mark for that. Like that many students are getting confused. So with respect to this particular joint CSER UGC NET examination June 2021, yesterday NTS releases the answer key and also so currently the website portal is open for challenging the answer key. So to this particular link, if you log in through your application number, you can log in through a password along with the date of birth. Okay. So if you log in, you can download your real time responses, that is mark responses and also you get to know about the answer that are provided by this NTA and this answers are provisional only friends. Okay. So after hearing the answer, you can also verify the answer key along with the mark responses. So if you watch so have you watched this answer key and something I found very important to bring to your notice. So here you can be able to see this is the question ID friend. So this is the answer ID. So for one question, okay, 174th question, instead of giving a option ID, here they had mentioned drop and they just highlighted this particular dropped question. So what is meant by instead of giving answer, what is meant by this dropped question? And many students are getting confused whether if a question has been given as a dropped whether all the student will get a bonus mark or grace mark for that or whether those students who attempted the question will get a grace mark or that like that many students are getting confused at least this NTA what they should do they should give they should put a star or they should highlight and at the below they should mention what is the meaning for drop but nowhere you can't be able to find the meaning for drop but I too, well, I too refer many YouTube videos and internet also friends. But those things are contradictory. Many YouTube videos are they are speaking in Hindi. Which is not easy for us to uh, I, I understand. So I thought why not to made or to share what I gain. So that it will be very, very much helpful for you student also. So if you check on to this particular thing. So this is not a UGC, uh, uh, CSCR UGC net information bulletin friends. So if you refer the CSCR information bulletin. Nowhere you can't able to see about this drop question what is the meaning but if you refer this UGC website where in this UGC net.nta.nic website here if you check on to this information bulletin friends you can able to know the exact meaning for this dropped question so here they had mentioned under the marking scheme that is 4.5 the question is found to be drop, found to be incorrect or ambiguous incorrect means either the question will be wrong ambiguous means the details that are given in the question is somewhat not with the enough amount of clarity okay so this is the meaning for ambiguous and incorrect the question is found to be incorrect or ambiguous during the key challenge okay only those candidates who attempted the question and chosen one of the correct answer would be given the credit so this is with respect to incorrect question and ambiguous question okay only for dropped question if any mark will be given to all the candidates Okay, so only for dropped question, if any, mark will be given for all the candidate irrespective of whether attempted or not attempted. Next, in case the question is dropped, the reason is due to some technical error. Here, one reason for the dropped question is incorrect or ambiguous. And another reason the question is dropped due to technical error means full mark shall be given to candidate who have attempted that particular question. So, I just refer few important website for this particular thing. So, I'm showing you what is given in that particular website. So, I, I know what is meant by dropped question. Dropped question, they are giving three important definitions, friends. Either the question will be wrong due to incorrect or ambiguous statements being given or else the question will be given, the question will be given correct. But due to typing errors or the, due to technical machine made mistake means that's also considered as a dropped question or either all options are wrong for a particular question or either all the four options are right for a particular question. So, mistake is with respect to the exam conducting authority in our case it is MP. So this is the explanation for dropped question and dropped question means the question contains some ambiguity in it and no marks will be awarded for the student for dropped question. So one group of students or one group of educationalists they are saying no marks will be awarded for the student for dropped question. Okay. All options are wrong for a particular question and also they are saying please don't confuse with the bonus mark. So all this I had taken from website only friends. I don't know even I get confused if you people watching this video 
know about anything please do tell us in the comment section so that many students will get benefited next thing dropped question means no mark allowed to anyone so again i'm getting giving you evidences no marks will be allowed to, to everyone four mark is reduced per dropped question of total so one dropped question means so with respect to csr examination the mark is for 200 if one question is marked as a dropped means the question paper itself will be considered for 196 mark instead of 200 mark so the all the question paper is 200 marks only friends so say your part c question or any four mark question is put in as dropped means your question itself evaluated as 196 mark like that one has reported okay so these both of the concept are being contracted with contradictory with the previous statements okay and with respect to whether you are getting any personal benefit means no that is no personal benefit because grace mark won't make any difference with respect to your rank this is for topper student for those who are getting many 90 percentage of mark okay because all will be getter awarded so that will be no increase in mark will be for it we won't have any personal benefit and the next thing with respect to our which question has been dropped means so 174th question with respect to this particular thing so 174 question is considered as a drop reference so here you can able to see 174 question here if you check Question number 174, you can check with the result also. Heating of some nucleic acid shown an increase in absorption of 260 nanometer typified by the plot shown above. So, they are giving a plot but here if you see in the question paper, they didn't even provide the plot itself. So, only if the graph has been provided. So, here and there, there is a plot has been provided. In every question, they provided us the plot. So, here and there, the plot here diagram is there. But only for this question, they didn't even provide us any plot. Okay, so here you can be able to see. Okay, the sharp transition midpoint is defined as a melting temperature. Which one of the following nucleic acid sample is not expected to generate such typical profile? So, only if the profile has been given, we can be able to uh, attempt for that particular question. So, if the profile or graph has not been given, then how we can be able to analyze which of the following nucleic acid is expected to generate such typical profile upon heating of the solution. So, even though you had attempted, so with respect to this particular thing, here the question, in our case, the question is incorrect and ambiguous. This is not the, with respect to technical error and all. Technical error means either they should be mistake or either any, we instead of 260 nanometer, they don't even provide any nanometer like that means we can say technical error. This kind of thing, the question itself is uh, ambiguous. They had given a plot, but they should give the plot. Okay. Only then we can be able to consider. So, here you can be able to see the question is found to be incorrect or ambiguous during key challenge. Only for those students who have attempted the question and chosen at least one of the correct answer will be given to credit. So, this is with respect to data. So, we need to know whether this NTA is considered this particular question as an incorrect question or ambiguous question or whether it is considered as a technical error. If it is considered as a technical error means full mark will be candidate given to candidate who attempted this. So, finally, I am saying if you had attempted this question number 174, that is if you had attempted heating of some nucleic acid question means definitely you will be awarded two mark because this 174 question is coming under part B. With respect to CSA net examination, part B, question coming under part B will generally carry only two mark. So, if you had attempted this particular question, then definitely you will be awarded two mark for this particular thing and next thing you should show the dropped question will be generally highlighted and you can't able to challenge those dropped questions so here you can't able to see all the thing okay so please don't look for thing two mark if you are thinking two mark is not going to make a big deal it is going to it will be going to make a big deal only friends because in CSAR many student will lose their cutoff in 0 0.1 mark 0 0.5 mark 1 mark and all okay so if you had attempted the question there are many chances for you to uh, give you mark and for if you ask me i didn't attempt the question means then for you question for you student also there are chances because nt has to give the evidences whether they are considering that particular question as a technical error question or whether they are considering that as a incorrect question okay so there are chances for providing you mark for all the student irrespective whether you had attempted the question or not attempted the question since the if it is a four mark question then definitely we can look for it is a two mark question friends if any of you have contacted nta regarding this particular information means please do share me in the comment section so that uh, we, many students will get benefited thank you friends thanks for watching this video